Welcome back. 2003 Chevy and Power. It's got a bad window regulator motor on the uh, driver's door. We're going to replace it. Go through taking the parts. It's already been taken apart. Uh, I took it apart a while ago. I had to prop the window up because it was broken and it wouldn't go up. Um, but we're going to get the old one out, put the new one in, and get this thing straightened out. I'm going to try to stay out of your light if I can. It's kind of difficult. Uh, you got two T30s in the handle here. I don't believe you have anything down here. You've got one screw behind the handle and then one screw up in this corner here. Phillips head. So we're just going to take those out. We got some too. Ah, I need a longer bit. Let me get a longer bit. I'll be right back. Alright, we'll go old school. We'll go old school on this one. Take it out by hand. There it is, small screw. Pretty, pretty small. T30, I think I said that already. Two of them right down in here. I probably should look though, just to make sure. Yeah, there's a uh, bracket in here. There's a bracket with two screws in it right here. Two Phillips head screws. I believe they got to come out too. Let's take that out. I think that should do it. Let's see. Might as well unhook our uh, clip we can. We could leave it in there, but probably just as easy to unhook it. Think, think. Two. Come on. There we go. Just don't hook that side to side. Probably could leave it hooked up and fish it through there, but I'll just take it off. Uh, that, that's better. Pick it up a little bit here. Got to get it around the door handle. There you go. Got a connector behind here up top. Let's do a look at it to see. So put the, uh, put the connector. Put it in uh, where you can't get at it. Facing the door. Uh, I release the whole thing. Just cut the clip. I'll show you. Just went in here like this and pushed out. It just clips in. That's easier than hooking that because that's up against the uh, right up against the panel. We'll just set that aside. Peel this back. Try not to tear it up when you're peeling it out of here. Try to keep it in one piece if you can. So this has been out by me once before, so it's not be too hard. Much so far. I keep my hand right on them as I um, peel this so it doesn't rip them, doesn't tear, or there's a lot less chance of it tearing, I should say. It still might. I got a tear right there from before, but for the most part, one piece. I try to keep it in one piece here. Oh. See my wire tie and piece of wood in there to hold my window up while I got the motor. All right. We get a pair of cutters. Well, I just use my knife. I'll do that. I'm going to sharpen my knife later, but no big deal. 
Oh, I got two of them. I missed one. Uh, I'm going to tape this window up first. Let me get some tape so it doesn't move on me. Uh, I'm probably going to have to move it anyway. I'm going to have to move that. I don't think so because I think it's already disconnected. Um, let me uh, do this. Sometimes you can, I, I, what I'll do is I'll take a, a trim tool and I'll kind of jam it in uh, to hold the window in place so it doesn't fall on me. Do that, kind of like that, and then you want down this end, like, like so. You just create some tension on it to hold it. You can tape this too, just put tape up over the top of the window and do it that way if you want. And it didn't fall, so Get my piece of wood out of here. Custom window holder, as I like to call it. Okay, so motor. So I think there's two bolts down the bottom here for the regulator. Uh, one up here for the uh, it's like the top of the regulator. Let me unbolt that. connected. I've got to move this window up and down so I can get those clamps off of this window. Just like that. There's a, uh, I'm going to find them. Kind of push it up and down to find the, where you can get at this, uh, I may have to go all the way down here. I'll show you in a second once I get it in there. Yeah, there you go. Let me, let me bring you over here. I'll show you. Uh, you can look in there, you see that bolt on both sides, so that's, you got to line them up and then take those two bolts out. And there's the window, be careful you don't drop the window. Let me do that. Okay. One. Short, these are short. Definitely shorter than the other ones I took out. Alright, two. I think that's it. Now I may want to take this window. Disconnect it from the <coughs> arm. Get it up here in place out of my way while I put the other one back in. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Get in there, catch. Just here. That should hold my window for now. I should be able to fish this out of here. Took the motor out. That's right. I forgot. It's been a while. This will come out. I gotta remember how to got it in there. It'll come out. There's what's left of it. I'll show you the new one. I had to cut the motor because the motor was all cable was all messed up on it. And the new one here. Just gotta figure out how it goes in. Obviously, it's gotta face this way. Gotta face the door like that. And then I have a couple of uh, uh, motors. So if, you, if you're taking this apart, I didn't show this because the motor was already out of it, which I kind of forgot. But um, there'll be three three bolts here. You have to undo, um, and they're on the new. Are they on the new motor? They're not on the new motor. Let's see how's this going to go. It's going to go kind of like that. Kind of funky. Oh, there we go. I was wondering why that was. It was twisted around. It'll go like that. I'm gonna feed that in there. How? I don't know. I'll figure it out. It shouldn't be that hard. Let me get my 
you know, my knees. Probably want to put those, those bolts on this and then we can slide them in place. Let me go find them. All right. And my three bolts I had on the old motor. Still kept, I kept it, so. Until I got the new one. We'll just screw them in part way. Now we'll just hang them in the slots. We should be able to, should make it a little easier. Do that. Let's see if we can feed this thing in here. Try to stay really light and not block everything that's going on here. close to where it should be. Okay, so set that in. Don't forget your connector here. I had this one undone already because the motor was out, but you gotta plug it back in. So get the flashlight, to see where it is. Oh, it's got a lead on it right here. Try to give you some decent light here. Try to stay out of your light if I can. Just connect it back up. Like that. Goes in the door. Fine. Alright, that's in place now. I'm gonna get these bolts started again. Get the regulator. That's where I need to go. Let's see where my top one is here. Right there. You probably could put these on before and then hang it. It has holes that you can slide them into the slots. It's probably smarter. I never said I was smart uh, to do that because then you can just hang it in place rather than having to fight it. It's not, it's not that big a deal though either way. Truth. Now I can't get it at all. Now it's just fighting me. There we go. It's hung up. Probably hung up on that top bolt. All right, a little bit off. It's great. You gotta love aftermarket stuff. Look at that. It's off by that much. I gotta try to weasel it around. I don't think there's any weasel in this. Huh, you suck. It's right on the edge of it. That's beautiful. That's, man, I hate that. Stinking aftermarket. There's no way that should be doing that. All right, let me undo the top one and see if I can do it. Otherwise, I'm going to cut it, just massage it a little bit, as, as I like to say. Let's see if I can get it this way. Whew. I don't think so. I don't think I can get that started. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. There you go. That is just enough to be a little bit of a pain. Now I got to line the top up. But I was able to get it, so it'll live. Top lined up here. Good. All right. Now. Um, I've got to get my window into my my track here. Got my motor. I probably have to connect up my. Uh, now I can't move it now because it's uh, everything's connected like it should be. I could move it before because the wire was cut because it was busted. So I'm going to have to hook my switch back up and move the wind, move the regulator up and down to get it in the right position to get these two back in where they should be. Let me just plug this back in. Take my... I'll leave that. It's disconnected. I don't want that going anywhere right now. I'm going to try to line this up with these holes here. See if we can do this. I 
I've got my two holes lined up. My brain is just not engaging today. I will say that. Um, so I've got these lined up. I'm just not thinking. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slide the window down and line it up. I'll take my key out so it doesn't beep the whole time. Line it back up. Screw these back in. So just hold your window. Should be able to line this right down and get it lined up with it. Let's see. There's one. Let me get that started. I'm just not thinking today. I'll tell you that right now. I gotta let go of this window carefully. I can get my my bit here. Just not thinking today. It's early. Well, it's not real early, but. Pretty early on a Saturday. Alright, we'll just get that one started. Not tight. Gotta get them both started, so we want to line them both up. Get this one in here. Okay. Now we're gonna cinch them up. Don't crush them. That's good. happy. All right, let's try it. That should be it to get the connected, everything connected. All right, just connect this again. I didn't tighten all these up yet. Tighten my motor up. Make sure I got them all. Okay. Everybody's happy. Put the door panel back on. raining pretty good right now. So again, I'm trying to stay out of your light. I'm not doing too great a job, but as much as I can, put that up in place. Just line the holes up. Don't forget your electrical connectors. Push them back through. That means push them back through. There we go. Use your holes where your push pins go to line everything up. This guy here first. Let's not put him upside down. Just gonna push him back into place. I know you can't see it. I'm trying to stay out of your way and I can't. Make sure he's right side up. Should just push back in. Well, the whole thing pops out on you like that, which is nice. All right, it's fine. Not broken. It just popped out. We'll just put them in first and see if we can do it that way. We've got lined up. Do it 
this way. That's fine. That'll work. Make sure your wires, you can get your wires to it. I'll trap them. Mine are fine for now. Pull your handle out a little bit, feed it through. And go up on top of this and hook it. Make sure it gets lined up right. Pop it out over there. Okay. Good. On either side of the door, there's a large pin that goes in a hole. One here, and then one here. You want to get those lined up, and that'll that'll kind of line everything up for you. Then you can push everything back in. Pop all your door pins back in. What am I missing here? No, there we went. Good. Good. I'm going to put this top corner in first just to hold everything in place. Make sure I can get my uh, electrical connectors here. And two, and three. There we go. This guy back in place. Don't forget your two hidden ones in here. here final time I hope just hope that back down in there first push the front down to two uh, two thirties okay let's check it one more time just to be sure go. That's pretty much it. Not very difficult. Just a couple screws. And that's about it. Oh, my wife just went back inside because she hurt a rib. And when she laughs, it hurts. And she knows she's going to laugh. She always does when she comes out here. Uh, that's it for the 03 uh, Chevy Impala window regulator. Pretty much the same for all the doors. You know, this is the driver's side. Front door, obviously. Uh, but pretty easy. Not a, not a big deal. Um, Got to get that out. That's that's the actual mechanism. The motor's off of it already. I do have the I do have the old motor over here, but uh, pretty easy to get out. Pretty easy to put back in. No, no big deal. Uh, if you have this problem with your car, I hope it helps you out. If you like the videos, subscribe below. Thanks for watching.